Oh my god. Good morning, everybody. Some technical difficulties at first, but now we're good. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully, you're all doing well. How about them Yankees? Six and one, six and one, folks. They beat the Arizona Diamondbacks. They got, they won the series in that. I said they would win two out of three. Uh, yesterday's game was a nail biter, but man, they made it. They made it happen. Aaron Judge, Alex Verdugo came through in the clutch. Um, Ian Hamilton, just an absolute beast on the mound, man. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about all of that, right? Uh, Yankees have a day off today. Uh, they play tomorrow their season or their home opener, should I say, against the Toronto Blue Jays. Marcus Stroman is gonna start in that game. How are we feeling, everybody? How's everybody doing today? How's everybody feel about the Yankees being six and one? And guys, if you haven't yet, I see you all coming into the chat. Hit that like button because the Yankees are six and one. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, share this out with anybody you know. Um, th this 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 is a different Yankees team. You guys, tell me what you all think. Um, I see everybody coming into the chat. So just so everybody knows, uh, I did start the live stream a little bit early today because I have a couple of things that I have to take care of this morning. Uh, later in the morning. So I'm going to go on till about 1030. I am going to do an open panel today. All right. I'm going to go do an open panel in about a half hour or so. Uh, I'll invite you all on one at a time and let you all take uh, have your take. And if there's people waiting in the queue, you know, you give your take. I'll, I'll uh, let you go. Bring the next person up. So um, hopefully I get some folks coming in today. But um Let's see who we got in the chat today. Jake Boss, good morning. How you doing? Uncle Tats from the Pinstripe Chronicles podcast. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to uh, Uncle Tats, what are you doing with your life? FL Diver, my guy, what's going on? What's going on there, sir? Joan, what's up? I feel like I haven't seen you in a little bit. Maybe it's my imagination. I don't know, but let me know. Lou, good morning. What's going on, Lou? How's it going? But yeah, guys, um... Yeah, you predicted 6-5 yesterday. You're never right. Yeah, well, <laughs> it happens. It happens. You know, I, I, I was right about the Yankees uh, taking two out of three against the Diamondbacks. And, you know, the Diamondbacks are a good team. They're a tough team, uh, you know, and rightfully so. They are they were the NL champions, National League champions. Uh, they, did play, they were in the World Series last year. So, and they're going to be a good team this year. They made some great moves this offseason. So, look out for them. All right, guys? Uh, but how do we feel about the Yankees being six and one? Uh, any thoughts, feelings? Did anybody think the Yankees would be six and one right now? Anybody, anybody in their right minds thought think that the Yankees were going to be six and one? I, I didn't personally. You know, if I, if I had to be honest, I thought maybe, you know, maybe a, a, a four and three record, a five and two record. Yep. Uh, Sunil, what's going on? Just so everybody knows, it's Sunil's birthday today. It's Sunil's birthday. He turned Bernie Williams old. Okay? He turned Bernie Williams old. Let's wish our guy Sunil a happy birthday. Why are we complaining? I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Other fans are. Other fans started freaking out because it was one loss, and it was just like, oh, it's the end of the world. Oh, fire everybody. This player is not coming alive. They sit him. Send him back down to the minor leagues. Whatever. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, playoff type games early in the season. Absolutely, Joan. Yeah, these some of these games. Yesterday's game felt like a playoff game, right? Uh, and it was a couple of games with, with the Houston Astros where it, it felt like playoff games. It was it was crazy. Felt like you were all you felt like you were in the uh postseason. You know, it's it's crazy. Brad, what is going on? Exactly, Brad. That one gets a star. That one gets a star. Anyone that thought the Yankees would be 6-1 needs to kick rocks. That is right. 
kick rocks if you thought the Yankees were going to be 6-1 and because I certainly didn't. Sunil's 9-55. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go with the A's jokes. Let's go. What's Uncle Tad saying here? Exactly, Joan. It's more than just a great road trip, but it gives a team proof that they can. Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, it was a great. It was a great um it was a great series. It was a great game yesterday. It had me off my seat, man. I couldn't sit down, but they 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 closed it out. They won. You could win by an inch, by a mile. A win is a win, though. A win is a win. Uh NFE Yankees fans want an all-star pitcher. And he, he, I know, Davey. And what's good morning to you, Davey? How you doing today, man? Uh yeah, they want an all-star in each position. It's like it does, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. And you could have all the all-stars you want, and I've said this many times, it does not guarantee you a World Series. Sierra, what's up, Sierra? What's going on? What are you saying here? Literally saying <laughs> because it just wouldn't feel right if they didn't. That's why. That's why they want us to be excited. They want our they want our adrenaline rushing there, Sierra. Even better. With it. Yeah, exactly. You know, this was something that I was talking with Jason from 161 River Avenue about yesterday, which shout out to my guy, Jason. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Um, you know, they're doing this without Cole. They're doing this without DJ LeMahieu. They're, they were doing this. They were winning games with, um, you know, Judge not hitting in, in some in most of these games up until yesterday. He had a he had a great game. He hit that two run shot and it also got that uh, got that double in the extra innings, which uh, helped the Yankees win the game. So, you know, Judge had a great game. His bat finally broke out. But the the the, the Yankees are making it happen with some of the guys that are that are hurt right now. So I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Stroman's an all-star. We will be – oh, yeah, I can't wait to see Stroman pitch tomorrow. I cannot wait to see Stroman pitch tomorrow. So – I'm excited to see what he does at Yankee Stadium. That's going to be that it's going to be electric tomorrow in the Bronx. And I can't wait till they announce Juan Soto's name. Who who's ready for this home opener? I know I am. I'm I'm I am looking forward to it. Yeah, exactly, Brad. No Canley, Efros, Trevino. Yeah, the Yankees have some guys that are hurt, but like they're they're still winning games. They're still coming through. This this team is different. This team is different. This is a much different team. Um, yeah, no doubt. So yeah, F, you know, you know what, uh, FL diver in, in some ways, like I, I don't like to see players get hurt, but in a way it, it was, it was a blessing for guys like Cabrera who got the opportunity to start and he, he shined and he's been shining, right? He's looked great. He's looked he's looked great in these games and he's showing up and, you know, we got to see, you know, Birdie, too. You know, Birdie made that that one defensive play at third base in that uh, in that game against Houston. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. You know, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, cardiac clay needs to be removed from closer. He's not a closer. Okay. Yeah, well, I like I like Clay Holmes. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, whether or not you all think he should be a closer, shouldn't be a closer. I mean, we could we could always debate it. Uh, as far as yesterday's game, I know some fans were trying to blame, uh, Cl you know, Clay Holmes for you know for the game going uh, extra or you know what I'm trying to say, right? The they tied it up, they played another inning, but that wasn't Clay Hol Holmes' fault. That was uh, Anthony Volpe. You know, that that was a bad throw by Anthony Volpe. Unfortunately. You can't put that blame on Clay Holmes, uh, but you know that's that that's just me. But you all tell me what you think. Uh, used to be home run a bus, totally different feeling. Facts, Sierra. Facts, facts. And just so you guys know, what uh, with Sierra, I, I wanted to announce this real quick. She is going live with me on Sunday. I'm going live at noon Eastern Standard Time. I actually I reached out to her a couple of days ago and asked her if she wanted to. Uh, co-host with me for Sunday and she's going to co-host with me. I'm excited to have her. Uh, she did a live stream with uh, Nithin Ramachandra. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. She did a great job and um, I'm, I'm excited to have her co-host with me on Sunday. CWE, what's going on, man? How's it going? Yep, 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 yep. So 
Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't wait either, guys. So make sure you all tune in on Sunday, noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'm gonna have Sierra on with me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Uh, you know, I, I listened to her on the Twitter Spaces there with, with Erica. She, she knows her stuff, guys. She knows her baseball. She knows her Yankees, and um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um. I didn't, but a guy that co-hosted with me did because they that that certain someone was causing trouble. So, you know, it is what it is. What's Davey saying? It's okay if Clay is not a closer. The closer will surface like Mariano Robertson. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I like – yeah, and I agree with CWE here. I, I like keeping Hamilton through the seven and eight innings. Uncle Tats, 100%. I like keeping them in a flexible role. What's nice about the Yankees' bullpen is that they have three guys that can uh, pitch multiple innings. They have that with, with uh, Ian Hamilton. They got that with Loisaga. Um, and they also have that with Luke Weaver. So, I mean, three guys out of, out of their bullpen and all good pitchers too. And, you know, as long as guys like Loisaga can stay healthy, um, I'm, I'm happy. You know, his biggest, the biggest problem with Loisica was his, uh, was, is his health, you know, but, uh, one player that I did not bring up was, uh, Carlos Radon. How's everybody feeling about Carlos Radon? He, he pitched well yesterday. He gave up those two home runs yesterday, but outside of that, he looked solid. I mean, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Carlos Radon so far. Let me know what you all think. How do you all feel about Carlos Radon? I think I think he pitched great yesterday. Out, outside of those two home runs, I think he pitched great. I, I this is good. Carlos Radon is going to be great for this rotation. I'm I'm confident that Stephen B. What's up, man? Good morning to you. Right, I prefer Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson's good. Birdie. Yeah, I, I like what I'm seeing from Birdie. Hey, Michael Caputo. What's going on, Caputo? How you feeling, Caputo? Team is seven. Team is uh six and one. Yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow either. As big as Radon's biggest hater, I will I, I will admit he did what he needed to do. No doubt, no doubt. Were were you a hater just because of last season, or are you a hater because of his attitude? Let me know, Sierra. It's two starts, pumped the break. Yeah, but two starts where he actually pitched pretty well there, Brad. I mean. You know, I'm I have more question marks about uh, you know, what's his face about Nesta Cortez. He's I'm not sold on him. Exactly, Sunil. I think he's going to be just fine. Uh, yeah, his fastball was in the high 90s. I mean, his fastball was looking nasty out there. I I, I agree. I'm I'm not you know Nestor. He needs to improve. He needs to improve. But here's something I'll say about Nesta Cortez. Well, I want to read this real quick, though, before I say something about Nestor. So Sierra's saying, I'm a hater for a mixture of reasons. I think we have a big contract that wasn't earned. And then, yeah, but you know what, Sierra, last year he was he was hurt. He was hurt all year. I mean, he was hurt all year. I don't think the guy was – I don't think he was ever healthy to begin with. But I, I think this year he's going to have a bounce back year. And his first two stars, he's, he's looked great. So I, I have no complaints. But what I wanted to say about Nestor Cortez is this. So the the thing with Nestor Cortez, now that first game against Houston, he gave up uh, four runs in two innings. And then after the second inning, he turned it around. And he when he was pulled out of the game, he was pulled out on a high note. So he ended the game well, right? Uh, the bullpen did their job. Um, unfortunately, the, the, the game against the Diamondbacks, he gave up three runs in the first inning. After that inning, he pitched well. I was hoping the bats were going to come alive, but the bats went cold that night. And then, you know, they ended up losing that game pretty bad. So I just hope that when Cortez pitches in his next start, he doesn't give up, you know, three, four one runs in the first two innings. It's just, you know, it, it just makes it difficult for the bats to come back from behind. Although they've done a good job of coming back from behind. They, the Yankees have shown that which so far, right, in, in seven games, even though they did not, they weren't doing that all of last year. I mean, uh, when they were losing, they would just lose. You know, there was no comeback, you know. So even when they were down one nothing, scoring one run was an absolute mission. 
You know, they couldn't score a run to save their lives, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, Sierra's pretty positive. She's pretty positive. I'll, I'll give her that. Uh, Sunil saying, I said it a few times, Rodon and Stroman have to be the rotation of what CC and AJ were in 2009 so far. Yeah, I mean, man, they, they kind of have to be that way. They do have to be that way. But, man, I cannot wait till Cole comes back because – um, Cole is, is very important to this rotation, as you all know. Um, and to uncle Tats's point here, when Cole returns, I, yeah, I, I think so too. I think so too. Um, I, Nestor has to be the odd man out. Nothing against Nestor. I like Nestor Cortez. I, I like him, but you know, if you're going to stick with the five man rotation, you got to go, um, uh, you got to go Nestor or excuse me, or you got to take Nestor out. Sorry. He's our modern, yeah, Sierra, modern day Cece. You know, Strowman's attitude and hype, man. I guys, what do you think of <laughs> Strowman's like energy in that dugout yesterday with a t-shirt on and just just rooting rooting the team on? Like, what what did you guys think of that? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. That was um that I I don't know. He's he's got a different energy between him, Verdugo, Soto. Uh, that that clubhouse, it's gotta, it's gotta be a lot of fun hanging out in the clubhouse, hanging out in the dugout. Um, you could tell like the, 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 the environment around this team is so much better than where it was, um, a year ago, right? The team, this, the 2023 Yankees just looked absolutely dead. This team is just full of energy. So I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. On, right now he, he is, but you know, let, let's see how he does in the starts. Davey, you're asking me if we think we'll see Warren in the middle of the season. I He will be brought up. He will be brought up in the middle of the season. Uh, when? I, I don't know. Um, I, I would imagine probably late May or early part of June, middle of June. Um, you know, Matt Blake even said that uh, Will Warren at some point will make a debut. So I, when that is, I don't know. But I would love to see him. You know, I would love to see him. I liked what I saw from Will Warren in the spring. Um, I know some fans were upset about uh, Will Warren, you know, not getting the the fifth spot in the rotation, and they gave it to Luis Hill. But Luis Hill pitched better than Will Warren, and Luis Hill looked ama- He looked great. He looked amazing out there against uh, Arizona on on Monday night. He pitched a great game. So I love it. The Yankees are so outdated, and I'm happy to see guys. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We need to have that passion and energy, 100. percent 100 percent uh uh i disagree with that i i nester is better than ching Wang. nope nope we're not going to make that comparison sorry you have to pick spots to bring him in yep he's been getting hit hard michael caputo what's up man uh you think soto goes deep tomorrow first to bat okay okay i like that take i like that take yeah i mean he he is and it's you know it's too bad right i think i think sevy sevy could have been a, a, an elite pitcher but unfortunately it's just uh the, the injuries have you know have ruined them you know it's it's sad really hey what's up dev how you doing bro hopefully everything is all right in your life man um hopefully you're doing good hopefully the family's good um uh, you know keep us updated uh, Soto and Judge hitting homers next game. So next game is tomorrow, home opener, right? How how excited are you for the home opener, folks? I am I am stoked, man. I am I can't wait for this home opener. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, uh, yeah, Stanton on four. Yeah, you know he's not seeing the pitches, and I'm I'm glad uh he was he was um not in the lineup yesterday. I'm glad Aaron Boone sat him, you know. That was a good decision by Aaron Boone. Um, and shout out to Aaron Boone, who's, you know, he's he's managing it. He's managing this team well so far. So, you know, let, I'll give credit where credit is due. Luis Hill is more experienced. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Davey, I, I, I agree with all of this. Eh, what's your boss going to do? <laughs> so... It's all right. Hey, you know what? Uncle Uncle Tats takes uh, opening day off. He's been doing that for every year. So, hey, you know what? You could take the home opener off. 
It's a great excuse to call up from work there, Sierra. <laughs> I think it's Chris Bassey. Yeah. Stanton's done. Yeah, a lot of folks, um, yeah, a lot of folks want uh think Stanton's done already. I mean, yeah, he hasn't looked great at the plate, but you know, hopefully he 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 finds himself. Hopefully he can swing. I'm I'm still trying to I'm still trying to pull for him. I'm I am gonna pull for him. You know, hopefully, hopefully the Yankee Stadium when they announce his name at the home opener, assuming he's in the lineup, that the, the, the crowd goes wild. You know, I want the I want the fans to cheer him on, you know, even with his struggles. You know, we got to cheer him on. I mean, sucking his buddy lower magnitude. Yeah. Well, still, so I, I I think I think I think Stroman and yeah, I or Nestor's on a different level than Ching Ming Wong. Um that's just my opinion, but yeah, your your boss should be understanding. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say Bassett did pitch last night, so I don't think he's going to pitch in this series. As far as who's going to pitch in the Yankee series, it should be uh, Stroman, Clark Schmidt, Luis Hill. Those are the three that should be pitching in this series against Toronto. But, um, yeah, it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good series, I, I feel like so. But, uh, guys, real quick, if you haven't yet, uh, please smack that like button because the Yankees are 6-1. and one. Hit that subscribe button if you're uh, first time tuning in. Hit share this out with anybody you know. Um, I am on the road to 600 subscribers, so I would love to get to that 600 as quickly as possible. And in my ultimate goal, I, I want to get to a uh, thousand subscribers by the All Star break. So, Dave, you're saying I feel so is going to be a lifelong Yankee. I man, he needs to be a lifelong Yankee. I appreciate you, Sierra. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah, he needs to be a lifelong Yankee. The Yankees are not going to let him walk. I mean, some some fans think that, uh, you know, the Yankees are just going to let him walk. They're not going to pay him. How is going to be cheap? Yeah, I don't think so. And, you know, Mets fans are already uh, saying, oh, I'll be a Met. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Mets got to worry about the season first <laughs> before uh, saying that they're going to acquire Soto. Uh, 602, 14 years for Soto. That's 43 AAV. I mean, I, I think he's, you know, personally, I think he's going to get 50 million AAV, but that's just me. I, and I could be, I could be wrong. So I agree hundred percent. I, I definitely want to see Austin Wells over Ho Jose Trevino, nothing against Trevino. I like him, but I want to see more of Austin Wells I, I, or more, or I want to see, yeah, I want to see more of Austin Wells over Jose Trevino. 100%. Torres, we're getting heck. Oh, wow. 3 a.m. Whew. Okay. Yeah, Glaber, the Soto and Glaber package. I mean, you know, you know, they're going to, Soto is going to be a top priority. I don't know about Glaber coming back. And no, I'm not trying to be negative. No, I don't want to put anybody down. Uh, but, you know, who knows if, I don't know that Glaber's coming back because the Yankees have an influx of infielders in their in their system, and so you know I know they're not going to all get to play, but th there's some there's some uh, potential there. So yeah, well he's not at his all star caliber, but again I'll I'll take I'll take Nestor Cortez over Ching Ming Wong any day of the week, uh, and I'm going to stand by that. Demon D, what's going on? Um, yeah, Jason Dominguez coming back very soon. I mean, you know, he'll, he may get he'll he'll get. I'm sure he will get a roster spot, but he's going to have to work his way back. He's going to have to earn it. I don't know that the Yankees are just going to give it to him, but you know, the good news is he's throwing from 120 feet. He's making progress in his in his health, which is good news. You know, obviously, don't rush him back. He'll probably be back around. You know, I. If I had a guess, right, I don't know off the top of my head. If I had a guess, I would say June, July. So, yeah, I, I do agree with you here. Trevino is better defensively. Defensively, he's really good. His bat is not that great. That Austin Wells' bat is good. Um, does he make that play in game one in Houston? Who knows? 
Davey, you think Soto is going to sign an Otani type of contract? Um, you know, Scott Boris is probably going to ask for seven hundred million, right? He might. Who knows? You know, we'll, we'll see. Anthony Medina, my guy, what's going on, bro? Good morning to you, sir. How you doing today, guys? Real quick, um, that we didn't get Dylan Cease. Yeah, listen, I would have loved to have Dylan Cease, but I'm not giving up Spencer Jones. I'm sorry, but you know, Spencer Jones is off limits. Uh, any team that asks for Spencer Jones could kick rocks. So, you know, I like Dylan Cease. I would have loved for the Yankees to get Dylan Cease, but um, I'm not giving up Spencer Jones for him, though. Sorry. But I am going to drop the link here to the live stream here in just a few minutes. So um, anybody who wants to jump on, feel free to jump on. You're all welcome to. Uh, the only thing I ask is just be just be respectful. Um, I, I will invite you all on one at a time. And if I have people waiting in the queue, I'll I'll let you have your take. I'll, I'll uh, drop you down, bring the next person up. So uh, it'll be dropping here in a few minutes. And then I do have to go off air at 1030 just because, you know, I got there's a couple of things I got to take care of this morning. Hence the reason why um, I went on a little bit earlier today so I can uh, interact with all you guys. OK, here's a question from Sunil. So here is discussion for debate then. Trevino, Trevino has been Nestor's catcher for the reasons that be. Why not a trade catch him once every now and then? I'm not opposed to this. I'm not opposed to it. I like Austin Wells, and you know, he's he's a lot of pitchers have spoken very, very highly of him. I mean, Carlos Radon, especially, has spoken very highly of uh you know Austin Wells. There's a he's got good chemistry going there with with the with the pitching staff. So, you know, I, I don't mind seeing Wells. Yeah, I'm not trading. I'm not trading. Uh, I'm definitely not trading Spencer Jones. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, if Nestor prefers Trevino over Wells, I mean, then so be it, right? Radon likes working with Austin Wells, and that's fine. Uh, Garrett Cole, I'm, you know, he likes working with Trevino, but I don't think he would mind working uh, with Wells. I, I think he's down to work with anybody. Yeah, you do bring up a good point. You do bring up a good point. I, you are correct. You are correct. So, um, and Pin, Uncle Tats here is saying I think Trevi catching Nestor was absence. To eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, nah, that was a great. That yeah, Uncle Tats, that was an excellent point by Sierra. So, like I said, Sierra knows her stuff. You guys, um, she knows her stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, well, he's not doing any of that uh, that funky stuff that he was doing before, and I think a lot of that has to do with the uh, the pitch clock. And there, I, I feel I am concerned about Nestor. I, I think there's something wrong with his shoulder, um, just because his you know his fastball is what hitting 90 miles an hour. That doesn't seem right, but I, I feel like there's something wrong with him. Yeah, I agree, 100% here, Sierra. The, the pitch clock ruined a lot of a lot of pitchers. I mean, I, and I've been saying this as as, as um, when MLB implemented the pitch the pitch clock, there's been more injuries to the pitchers. There's a there's a correlation there. So 100. percent We're not taking perfect. I don't know what if Trevino hits the IL during the year? What happened? There? Yeah, yeah. I mean. That was during the All Star year. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, yeah, we're. I don't. I, I think uh, twenty. I mean, I hate to say it, right? And maybe, hopefully, I'm proven wrong. But yeah, 2022 nasty Nestor is, is probably not a thing anymore, right? Um, all you can hope for is uh, he he pitches well. And it seems like it, there might be a guarantee that he's going to give up, you know, two, three run or three or four runs in the first couple of innings. I don't want it. I don't want him to. But you know, we'll see what happens in his next start. Um, yeah, and 20, I mean, that's the thing. He doesn't do the, yeah, he doesn't do his, uh, antics just cause, you know, because of the pitch clock. So it changed things up for him quite a bit. Yeah. Shoulder injuries, worse than elbow. I know, 
I I can't speak on that, but I know shoulder injuries. I've met quite a few people that have had surgery on their shoulders or or have had um, you know issues with their shoulders. It's never fun. You know, they never fully healed. It's always it, there's always a, a lingering problem, and it sucks. Um. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know something? This is true, Tats. You're you're right. Hold on. Let me pull up that comment. What do you guys think of this? Um, we're seeing an increase in hit by pitches with the pitching feeling rushed. I I I do agree with that. I do agree with that. I I didn't think about that until you brought it up. That's a good point. You should just get funky out there and see what happens. Yeah, why not? It's a possibility, CWE. It's a possibility. And guys, I'm gonna drop the link to the open panel. So uh, I'm on for about another half hour. There's the link. So anybody who wants to jump on and talk, let me know. Again, I'm going to invite you all up one at a time. And uh, if I have anybody waiting in the queue, I'll have you have your take. I'll drop you off, bring the next person up. So uh, the link is there. Anybody wants to jump on, feel free. And uh to my to my fellow content creators, to my fellow folks who have their own channels, you guys are always welcome to jump on. You already know that, so um, you you all already have the link. So um, any anytime, anytime. All right. <laughs> yeah, Sunil, don't be eating breakfast. He'll probably be doing the soto the soto shuffle. So watch out. Yeah, Davey, any anytime, man. Uh, you're very welcome. So, but yeah, how are you guys feeling about uh, this this home opener against Toronto? Uh, do you guys see a sweep happening? I know Toronto hasn't been playing well, but what, what do you guys think? There's a question for you, Uncle Tats. I'll leave that up there. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to I wanted to shout this out. There you go. So um, Uncle Tats is uh, doing a show for uh, you know for Parkinson's disease. So it's from eight a.m. to eight p.m. Anybody is if anybody's able to tune in, please tune in. Um, I know I'll be on for for a little bit. I'll tune in in the morning. I'll I'll, I'll jump on there with Uncle Tats. Uh, it's for you know it's for a good cause, right? So anybody can come out, come on there and show some support and subscribe. Uh, it'd be it'd be great. Ken, good morning, greetings to you. What's going on, uh, Stephen B? You're saying I'd hope for a sweep, but take two out of three. Yeah, anytime, anytime you take a series, I'll. I mean, I'm I'm happy with series wins. So anytime the Yankees take a series, it's always a win. Uh, you, Medina saying the Yankees take two out of three. All right. I don't know why, but maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm overly positive here. But I think the Yankees can sweep them. I think the Yankees can. Um, I think the Yankees can sweep the uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. What do you What do you all think? Sweep two out of three, one out of three. What do you all think? So Brad saying two out of three from the Blue Jays. Okay, okay. So so far it's uh, it's two out of three. What are you guys predicting uh, for the games? Like, do you think do you guys think uh, Soto hits a home run in the home opener? Uh, let's see. FL Diver is saying a broom is coming out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Demon D, that's awesome. You're gonna be at the at the opener. Got to let us know how how that goes, man. That's got it's gonna be electric tomorrow. So. Yeah, who would have thunk it? Two series, two series wins. Yeah, I know. Ken, I, you know, I thought it was gonna be, against Houston. I thought it was gonna be a split. So, yeah, Stroman and Hill starts. I think I think uh, those two are gonna be locks. You know, as far as wins go, I I feel good about Clark Schmidt too, though. Um, personally, yeah. Do do you think uh, Medina? Do you think uh, Judge will hit a home run? In the home opener, you think he'll hit two home runs? 
What about what about uh what about the rest of the lineup? What do you think? Who, who do you think is going to hit a home run? Who's going to be the star of the game? You know, we saw Verdugo hit one yesterday against Arizona, which was nice. That was great. Uh, does anybody see um, Verdugo hitting one in the series or anybody or in the home opener? Soto and Judge hits a homer. Yep. Yeah, Judge definitely woke up 100%. Uh, Soto and Judge back to back. Stadium needs to be repaired, dude. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Anthony Rizzo. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for him to hit a home run, and I hope he does hit, hit one tomorrow. Medina. He's saying he thinks he'll hit two in the series, maybe one in the home opener. Okay, okay, I like it. Yeah, Rizzo is going to wake up this week, and I, I feel pretty good about that. Uh, oh yeah. Dude, Soto is gonna Soto Soto is gonna feel the vibes tomorrow. He's gonna 100% feel the vibes. Sunil, what are you saying? We're gonna deflate the teams. Yeah. Yep. 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 But guys, again, um, the link is in the in the chat. If you got anybody who wants to jump on, feel free. I'm only gonna be on for another 25 minutes, and then I'll be logging off. So, um. Yeah, I I feel good about this. I feel good about the New York Yankees. I, I really do. I, I don't think this is a uh I don't think this is a fluke team. I think the starting rotation will be able to hold their own for the next couple of months till you know Garrett Cole comes back. This lineup is doing good. I I, I this lineup is great. Some bats need to wake up, right? Especially with John Carlos Stanton. His bat needs to wake up. Um the bottom of the order is doing really well, right? You know, you got Anthony Volpe, he's hitting. Oswaldo Cabrera, he's hitting. So the bottom of the lineup has been really good for the Yankees. So uh, top of the lineup, you know, Soto is doing his thing. Judge finally woke up, uh, it, it, which was nice to see. So hopefully that it continues in the in the right direction. All the people touch. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, all these people that trash talk about Judge, it's like now I'm sure they are all excited about Judge now, and it's just like, you know what? You don't have any room to talk. You guys bash Judge when he's playing bad, and then you guys are all Judge fans when he's playing good. Whatever you say there. Whatever you say there, fellow Yankees fans. But I can't tell you how to fan. Everybody's a fan in their own way. I'll hop on in a few minutes driving to sleet and rain. I got you, dude. Uh, drive safe out there, man. Safety first. If you're driving and tuning, if you're driving and tuning in, uh, please focus on the road, right? Uh, don't get into any. I don't want nobody getting hurt, getting into accidents. Yeah, exactly. Brian FL diver Brian Cashman does def- deserve his fl- flowers. One hundred. He he did a really good job this off season, right? Um, and I've said this before on my live streams. I'm not really one to go out and bash Brian Cashman. Um, it's just not what I do. I know other folks will do it, and that's fine. Um, I do feel as though uh, Cashman did really – he did do a good job this offseason. I don't always agree with his decisions, right? He's made some bad decisions, no doubt, but he's also made some good ones too. So, you know, I, I this offseason though, yeah, Cashman did an excellent job. You know, he traded for Juan Soto. He traded for Alex Verdugo. He signed Marcus Stroman. And he signed a boatload, you know, he, he got a boatload of bullpen pitchers, whether it was through a signing or through a trade. He pulled off a lot of smart moves. You know, it was it was crazy. Um, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> uh, Ken, what did I think about Radon's performance yesterday? I think his performance yesterday was good. Outside of those two home runs, I think he pitched well. I think he pitched well. I'm 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 uh I'm happy with it. Oh, I got somebody backstage. I got my guy Ken waiting in the back. Uh Ken, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're ready. Awesome, sir. Hold on. Let me set myself. How you doing, man? Pretty good, brother. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Talk to us. What's on your mind? How do you feel about the Yankees? How do you feel about uh I know you asked that question about Carlos Redone. What do you think no. of Carlos Rodon? I think he's back. He had no spring training last year. His velocity was way down, but mm-hmm. yesterday's game, I seen him up at 97, 98. 
he's using the uh, the slider and the cutter mm -hmm. more effectively. I think he's going to be just fine. I agree. I agree with you. Yeah. No, I, I was happy with his performance yesterday. That was a better performance than what he pitched in Houston, even though in Houston he, he did well. You know, I'm not I'm not complaining about how he pitched against the Astros, but yesterday's game he he pitched uh very well. Um tell talk to us, man. How do you feel about the the bullpen? You you saw Ian Hamilton. I mean, he's been he's been on fire lately. The guy's a he's a fireball. <laughs> That kid, that kid per, should probably end up being the closer when it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. uh, people are people are slamming on Holmes, but I'll tell you what, his the innings that he he gave up what three runs, but none of them were earned. Earned, mm -hmm. it was a shit show. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, so I'm glad you brought up Clay Holmes because the thing with Clay Holmes is that some folks in yesterday's game were blaming him. Uh, could, but it wasn't his fault. There was just a bad throw from Volpe. Would you agree with that? Yeah, 100%. Okay. I mean, the Arizona had a bunch of quick runners. I mean, they raped us the other day when they beat us 7 nothing. They beat us because of their legs. Right. They, they ran right. us out of the game. And, uh, you know, the guys saw that, and they're going to take shots as quick as possible. And Volpe was off tr off track a little bit. and. Yeah, I was surprised that Rizzo didn't hold on to the ball. I mean, I don't know how hard the impact was. I was going to bowling league, so I was listening to it on the radio. I was aggravated. I uh, bet. Yeah, when that ball came out, I was I was uh, surprised. He must have he he went in there like a bull, <laughs> so knocked yeah. that ball out. But you know, yeah, errors. You know, unfortunately, part of the game. But uh, you know that that they they could have uh, they didn't have to go another inning, but. It, it happens. Um, you um, you always leave some great comments on my videos, which I greatly appreciate. Um, how do you feel about Nestor Cortez? I know a lot of there's a lot of folks that feel um, differently about him, but how do you feel about Nestor, man? Honestly, he has pitched okay. Okay, he's had two bad innings in eight that he's thrown. Right, he's given up. Uh, Six runs in the first inning. If he gets those numbers down, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps one, because he shut down the teams after he gets out of the first. True. Uh, he will be fine. However, having pitched before and suffered an arm injury, it's always on your mind. And that's why I think he's not willing to come out and let it go because he doesn't have confidence in his shoulder yet. Yeah, because I know you said you pitched before, right? You were a yeah. pitcher. And kind of walk us through with the – because you've had shoulder injuries, it sounds like. I had uh, uh, two rotator cuff surgeries in college, Ooh. and that's what ended my career. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's that's rough. That is really well, rough. I, I tell you what, mm -hmm. things happen yeah. for a reason. Yeah. And uh, I had never thought about – coaching baseball at all but uh i had 12 good years of coaching my boys and neighborhood kids we had a lot of championships so awesome. that was just as satisfying as playing ball myself that's awesome man that's awesome yeah no nah, i mean I, I bet co i bet uh coaching that probably that brings a lot of joy uh, i'm sure to you yeah because t there there are a lot of people uh Parents actually aggravated me more than anything. My kid's <laughs> yeah. a superstar. Blah, 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 this. He should oh, yeah. never come out of the game. I was like, man, if you think that this kid is going to get you out of the trailer park, you're shit out of luck. It ain't happening. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, man, I, I, I've seen those parents at, at, at games, man. It's uh, you, you bring up a good point, man. Um, sometimes the way, the, the way they act, uh, it, it's unbelievable. You know, they, they, they act, they act worse than the kids and the kids are, are probably embarrassed. I'm sure, you know, um, cause with, I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. With regard to Cortez and his, and his shoulder injury. Yeah. Uh, you'll feel tightness coming out. And if you try to loosen it too much, you're worried. Is it gonna, is it gonna strain another muscle? Uh, part of the rehab process 
you have muscles that are on both sides of your uh, of your rotator cuff, and if there's an imbalance in either side, uh, you have instability in the shoulder, and you can't throw the ball like you normally do. Yeah, I you could you could speak on it, and 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 it makes it makes sense. And I've I've met I've met folks that have had uh, shoulder surgery or you know some sort of shoulder issues. And it's a it's a constant lingering problem. It, it just doesn't go away. It does it, it doesn't feel normal again. And um, yeah. I know for pitchers, it's 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 um it's bad. So when you take the first real shoulder injury, mm -hmm. it's only downhill from there. It it doesn't get better. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, no doubt, man. Um, how do you feel about what? what before I let you go, because I got somebody else waiting in the back, how do you feel about the Yankees being six and one? Did you expect them to be here at this point, six and one? And how do you feel about this uh, home opener and the se the series against the Blue Jays? Uh, six and one is a dream. My early season prediction was four three. Yeah, I thought that we would take a split in Houston mm -hmm. and take the series in Arizona. Uh, home opener, I'm I'm. I think that we're going to do fantastic. I think that uh, Verdugo getting a getting a taste of the dinger uh, is going to spark him. He he has been he either hits line drives or pop outs, and I think in Yankee Stadium those line drives are going to equate to doubles. My my bet is he gets at least three doubles this this series. Okay. I think I like the Yankees. Will, I think the Yankees will take it two two to one for another series victory, and. Uh, We'll be doing well. Hey, what's up? Have we looks like we got a kiddo in the in the screen? What's up, kiddo? Yeah, that, that's my three year old grandson. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is he? Are you a Are you a Yankees fan, just like uh, Grandpa? Say so, yep. He's he's the fifth generation of Yankee fans in my family. Hey, salute! That starts salute, back salute, from salute. my grandpa, my dad, my kids, uh, yep. my grandkids granddaughter he sits in my lap and watches yankee baseball games he that's says, yankee, awesome yankee, yankee. and he's three so by the time he gets our age he's going to be a nut <laughs> i love it i love it all right my friend all right ken i appreciate you coming on man thank you so much uh guys look for ken's comments on my videos he, he's always dropping the knowledge um you know i've Definitely learned some things uh, right right now just from talking to him. So, Ken, as always, you're always to welcome to come on to the open panels, uh, you know, anytime you want, okay? I appreciate it. Great show, brother. Yes, All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Yep. All right. I got somebody else. Oh, he disappeared. Hello. <laughs> Sunil, what's going on there, birthday boy? What's going on, man? Bernie Williams years old. How yeah, awesome Bernie's yep. like my favorite player, Yankees player of all time. Yeah, so. I was what I was watch I was watching videos of his batting stance, and I was trying to draw similarities between him and Soto, yeah. just to see if they've got like that similar shuffle thing going. You know, getting into the <laughs> box. You know that yeah, that, yeah. that that might be the thing we need to create the mojo. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Um, oh, sorry about that. What is going on here? Technical difficulties. What the heck? Oh, I took you off stage. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Only you can do that. No, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Um, yeah. how do you feel about um what do you what do you think, man? The Yankees being six and one. Uh, did you expect this to happen? Um it's it's definitely um a bit uh, surprising, pleasant surprise. And mm -hmm. you know, just for Joan, I'm just going to bring this on screen. She, he mentioned the thing about the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you drinking, tea? Yeah. yeah. For sure. It, it's Indian masala chai. Indian, okay, okay. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so six and one, where did you think – if? Today's an off day. Like, where did you think the Yankees' record would be if you had to predict? Like, what what did you predict? 
I would be right there with Ken, you know, kind of, mo- you know, on the modest side of things, you know, I uh-huh. mean, you heard, you heard the, the Cola's reviews, put Yankees, you know, prediction to finish this year in dead last. And everybody was talking, oh, we have a tough start to the season. We, we have Houston, who's got our number, and then we have the, the defending National League champions from last year's World Series. So Yankee fans, temper your expectations. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, they, they, they were talking about as if this was going to be the start to the 98 season 2.0 when we started one, one and four before coming back to the Bronx. <clears throat> I predicted four and three, three and four, somewhere in that best case, five and two. Yeah. Best case is five and two. I would, I would agree with that. Mm-hmm. I thought they were going to, you know, split the series with Houston. I thought that yeah. it was going to, it was, and I, I would have been, I would have been satisfied with that just because. Mm-hmm. You know, anytime you take a series split split mm-hmm. away, I think it's a, it's a win for the for the away team. Yeah, but yeah, they they swept them though. Like that's the thing, they swept them. Um, yeah, and you know the as you know the Astros' offense is they got a good offense. They got some good bats in that lineup. Yeah, and then, but- yeah. Go ahead. They're missing key pieces in that rotation. Their pitching is going to be. The uh, thing that leads to their detriment, basically. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I got yeah. you. Real quick, I wanted to welcome on Jason from 161 River Avenue. He's another one of the Yankee content creators. Uh, guys, if you don't know Jason, uh, get to know him. Check out his channel. He's doing great things over there. He's on the road to 21,000 subscribers. One of the best content creators out there, man. Jason, what's going on, my guy? How you doing, guys? Sunil, what's happening? And if he what's good word, gentlemen. How you, guys, how you guys feeling this morning? I feel great. I feel great, man. This this team, this team, six and one. Did any of us expect this team to be six and one? We we were talking about that uh, with Sunil. We were talking about it with Ken when uh, when Ken was on here. So, um, you know, I don't think any of us expected this. I I was expecting like a four and three record, maybe or a five and two at, at best. And this, they're doing it without Cole, without you know, without contribution. Exactly. Aside from yesterday, contributions from Sam mm-hmm. Judge. So, you know, mm-hmm. I'm really curious as to why more people are beefing, you know, and, and, and like comparing Holmes to Mariano Rivera and arguing about this. And and we had people yesterday comparing eras, like Jeff Passman was saying, oh, Babe Ruth would have sucked in today's game, today's today's game. Like, what is the point of these comparisons? We, have, I don't... we can never prove that Babe Ruth would have not been good. What is the point? And what I mean, it's Jason. It's just as pointless as uh, looking back at the past fifteen years and people talking about Brian Cashman's yeah. uh, moves. It's and like we could go back to the '80s and talk about all the bad moves that the Yankees made during that yeah. during that time too, because they didn't win any championships in the '80s. And it so, looks like somebody yesterday said a ground ball uh, inducing closer is not a real closer, and then a whole bunch of people went with that. Ran with some dude's comment on Twitter. And I don't know if I agree with that. I, you, you, a win is a win if you a save is a save, right? So, and yeah. like people were obsessing about yesterday, but Volpe's the one that blew the save, not Holmes. You know, Volpe's the mm. one that didn't make the play, yeah. So, he, as much as you want to blame Holmes, that's fine. But mm. Mariano Rivera had one of the biggest blown saves in history, game seven of the 2001 World Series. Doesn't make him any less the goat, yeah. And, and he's saying, Thank you, Jason. Mm-hmm. Here. So, yeah, that wasn't, yeah, yesterday's game. Um, I mean, it didn't have to go an extra inning. That was just – that was a bad th- throw by Volpe. Everybody wanted to blame Holmes, but I'm like, that is not Clay Holmes. I'm No, stop. Mm-hmm. They won. They won. Yeah. yeah. You know? And the yeah. Yankees fought back after the Diamondbacks tied it again. That's a testament to this team. This team's got dog. This team's got feisty in it that it didn't have last year. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's okay to enjoy that. Yep. TC, what's up, TC? Deals, that's – what's up, gentlemen? Yeah, yeah. I think these fans are still suffering from 2023 PTSD from the Marlins game where Clay Holmes blew a five-run lead. I think that's where it all stemmed from. Yeah. I mean, that one was – I'll admit, I know it was one game. I I, I, I get that, but it, it, it was pretty bad. Like, because when I – that game, I was like, no way, man. No way. That was, month. That was his one bad month of the season. That was yeah. one bad month of the season. Absolutely. Um, yeah, right. Two consecutive years as a Yankees closer. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Yeah, yeah. and 
like, you know, some... Juan Clase, as much as people want Josh Hader, there's no guarantee that those guys would be better. Let, let's, let's, let's take it back to the, the tandem duo that a World Series championship team had all the way back in the 80s. Look at Roger McDowell and Jesse Orozco, two sinkers as closers. I mean, come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You you, you had you you had uh, <clears throat> results back then that that team won 108 games in the regular season. Yeah, and Mariano Rivera in, did induce a lot of ground balls. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he did. He did mm -hmm. get a lot of ground balls. Yeah, deep mm -hmm. ones, but still ground balls. You know yeah, what the thing? You know what the thing quick, is? I wanted to say this. I wanted to say this real quick. With hate with uh, Clay Holmes too. Sorry, uh, Sunil, but no, I was going to say with. Um, Clay Holmes. People have to remember he when he was he was traded to the Yankees. He had a high he had a high five ERA. Is that correct? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, He's, above five. Well, yeah. I mean, look, MBE, look, look MBE. what he's doing now. Mm -hmm. He's a beneficiary of the MBE, which is the Matt Blake effect. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And Matt Blake is is known to make make average relievers good, good relievers better, and that's credit to him. Ocean yeah. View, Ocean View Coffee Shop only on a Yankee off day. Can that happen? <laughs> and, uh, you know, look, and a couple of people brought it up. Brad brought it up. Michael Caputo brought it up. Haters blown saves already this year. So yeah. Haters yeah. have more blown saves than Ye L.I. Yankee King has more blown takes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm like, who cares? <laughs> He's not our closer. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care either. And, you know, I know I know a lot of people wanted uh, – I know a lot of people wanted um, – oh, so I, here's some news. What's up? So it says the Yankees outrighted left-handed pitcher Tanner Tully off the major league roster and onto the roster of Triple A Scranton. Yeah, they DFA'd him the other day, I think. Yeah, yeah, but that just came up on my phone. Yeah, that, so, was, that was to make room for Cousins. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, are we going to talk about Cousins again? Because everybody has their like, you know, Mel Brooks Spaceballs versions of talking about, uh, about him. He's like, he's. Kirk Cousins Cousins. It reminds me of that dialogue from like Spaceballs. I'm your father's brother's sister's cousin's former roommate. <laughs> <laughs> look at and look at this comment from Ken here, guys. Yeah. 95 million dollar hater, mm -hmm. two save opportunities, two losses. Yeah. Hey. One of them to Juan Pacheco Soto. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but let's see. I'm I'm gonna wrap it up here soon, you guys. Uh just because mm -hmm. I there's I Got to take yeah. care of a few things this morning, but, yeah, sure. um, you know, what do you, what do you, any final thoughts, comments? I know Sunil, I know you wanted to say something real quick. I, I, I kind of cut you off there. <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot my train of thought there. So, uh, Sorry. yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are you doing anything? You ain't doing anything special for your birthday. Happy birthday, man. Hey, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, nothing, not special. Uh, Yes, you know, typical work day at home, uh, sitting at my work desk right now, about to get on some meetings and stuff here uh, in the next hour or so. That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. J Jason, doing anything fun today, man, or are you just kind of enjoying uh, the day? Just doing some, just doing some content work for the channels. Um, sure. We, I might, I'm keeping myself available because I might have to help my father-in-law at our house with like mm -hmm. a big piece that needs to be moved so I'm, I'm on standby waiting for him to call me to see if he needs me or not so uh, I got you. When, when when's the house expected to be done well phase one by the summer phase mm -hmm. two idea so that's we're adding 10 rooms to the house so it's it's and it's a lot of it's a it's a lot of work and yeah. you know and paying you know Paying all different trades and contractors that is expensive. So her, my mm -hmm. father, that, uh, is being GC for a lot of stuff and doing a lot of stuff himself. So it's it's just taking longer, but it's saving us a, a lot of money on the back end. But even so, um, you know, we've already got uh, rejected for appealing the township that wanted to raise our taxes by fifty percent, even though we haven't lived in it in eleven months. So <laughs> wow, um, yeah. So we're yeah. going to that. We're reappealing the process. Yeah. It's yeah. never filing appeals are always fun. Yeah, they're yeah. And Jason, what do you think of, of this series against uh, Toronto? Um, you know, home opener. It's going to be electric. 
Do you think the the Yankees sweep? They take two out of three. What are your predictions, man? I think it's gonna be a hard series. Yeah. I don't think the Yankees sweep. I think the, the Blue Jays are gonna be awake and alert and ready for these guys. They've gotten off to a pretty bad, pretty bad start. And I think the Blue Jays are gonna try to. I think they're a little bit pissed off after being no hit by the Astros. And I think oh, yeah. Take- Yankees one way or the other, and they have the the bats to do it. So yeah. uh, is will the Yankees shut them down? I have no idea. I expect it to be a more feisty series than, than it was either, you know, against uh, Houston or the Diamondbacks. I expect this to be pretty so feisty. This, yeah. So this was the point I was trying to bring up yet the earlier. I just remembered the whole Diamondbacks thing that everybody keeps talking about. Look at the turf and the size of that ballpark, how it plays. It looks like it's natural grass, but it's really artificial turf underneath there. That's going to play benefit to a certain type of player personality, basically. Um, And it's not always going to necessarily be for the visiting team. So people have to take that in mind whenever you have visiting, you know, visitors going to that ballpark to Chase Field. Uh, that that ballpark is, is cavernous. It, 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 I, I almost think it's designed after polo grounds. It's a big, it is a big park. I've been there. It's a big stadium. And yeah, I'm with Tats too. Just win, just win the opener. Yeah, win the opener. That, yeah. yeah. So and here, um, and here, here, here's a fun over under to play with. How many times does John Schneider make fat boy jokes? Oh, I'm going. I'm going the. I'm going. Huh? I'm going the under on three. Under on three, I don't know, man. That guy's got a big mouth. He he he's got a mouth bigger than uh, you know, than <laughs> what the checks can write. So I'm 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 taking the over on three. He's Ooh. probably gonna he's probably gonna go at least one per game in the entire series. <laughs> okay, entire. See what happens, but um, <laughs> yeah. On that note, though, um, I'm gonna close it out, you guys. Um, I did go on a little bit earlier today, just because again, I I there's some things I got to tackle this morning. Mm -hmm. Um, but hopefully next week it should be normal time at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Mm -hmm. Final thoughts, you guys, before we close out? Just win, baby. We got the Blue Jays, and then we got the Marlins coming in after the Blue Jays. So, yeah, opportunity Mm -hmm. for the, you know, the Yankees to come out. But, you Mm -hmm. know, maybe four and two, something like that. The Marlins are terrible. But remember, teams that have been playing like dog crap Mm -hmm. have a tendency to wake up against the Yankees. Now, will they wake up against this Yankee team? I don't know. I don't know. So, mm-hmm. uh, not is, gonna, is Manoa pitching any of the games? Uh, not that I know of right now. I mean, mm-hmm. tomorrow's you see Kikuchi versus Marcus Stroman. That's what we know right now. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I know his pitching. Right, that's, that's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. So, guys, uh, real quick, thank, thank you for coming on. Thank you for chatting it up. Uh, Sunil, thanks for coming on. Ken, thank you for coming on and dropping your knowledge, man. You you got you definitely check out Ken, guys. He dropped some great comments on my videos. Uh, definitely understands the game and knows the game, and he's you know he was a pitcher himself, so um, he can he can tell you some things. Uh, real quick, guys, on your way out, please smack that like button if you, if this is your first time tuning in. Uh, smack that subscribe button. Please subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to Jason from One Sixty One. Uh, happy birthday to Sunil. Um, hopefully you have a good birthday, man. Uh, home opener tomorrow. Let's go Yankees. Let's hope for a sweep, but I'll take two out of three, but it's going to be a battle though. It's going to be a battle. So, um, can't take Toronto lightly. Mm -hmm. Um, any other news comes out, Mm -hmm. we're going to let you know, you know, we will let you know. So be on the lookout and you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. I am going live on Sunday. Remember guys, I'm having a a co-host with me. I'm going to have a guest, Ciara. Mm-hmm. who I met on the Twitter spaces and she knows her stuff. She was in the chat earlier and was dropping some knowledge. So look out for that. Hopefully I'll see you all there and see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for having us, man. Peace. Absolutely. Anytime. All right, guys.